Hello, today's May the 2nd, 2019. I found a great Facebook page called I Grew Up in Vegas. So I thought since this is such a beautiful day that I'm going to go out and do a story on the Hush Puppy. It's a local restaurant that's been here for years and years. So come along with me. Okay, this is the restaurant over on West Charleston. It's owned by Virginia and Roger Gormley. Uh, the other location is on Dallas. I'm an insurance guy. I have both restaurants insured. They have a great menu. Uh, New Orleans style oysters. You can get farm raised and freshwater raised catfish, which of course what they're well known for. And the chicken and steaks are very, very good too. They now have a drive through We're at Charleston and Antelope. Then back here they have their corporate offices. This building in the back. come through the drive through and you pick up your food right here. Back in the day if you're lucky enough to sit on the east side of the restaurant with these windows you had a beautiful view of the strip and no more they have these apartments here. This front section is the original part of the restaurant back in 1975 and uh, they would say people would be lined up clear out to the street. And by the way, my office for 19 years was right across the street. Sunday through Thursday, 4.30 to 10. Friday and Saturday, 4 to 10. I wonder, wonder what difference the 30 minutes makes on Friday and Saturday. Since 1975. Now let's go inside the offices. The corporate office is back behind the restaurant on West Charleston. Virginia is usually always here. Um, she's in the office to the left here. And she just yelled at me, uh, don't put me on film. Don't put me on camera.
This is Charlie Gormley with David Frizzell. Picture of Glenn Campbell. We're in Charlie's office now. Colonel Tom Parker, or Charlie told me, or Virginia told me that uh, Colonel wanted his fish with the heads on it. No fillets. He wanted the whole thing. Must be a Dutch thing. I'm not sure who this individual is. Ken something. Looks like John Denver. A lot of people visited the restaurant throughout the years. A lot of famous people and entertainers. Wayne Newton, as everybody knows, lives in Las Vegas. Hank Williams, Elvis Presley, of course Hank and Elvis never visited the restaurant. Sweet Louie. This is Charlie and Eddie Arnold. Mel T -T -T Tillis. Uh, Charlie told me that Mel would come to Las Vegas to do shows and call him up and uh, Mr. Gormley would go pick Mel up and take him around out to the restaurant. This is a picture of Judge Joe Bonaventure right here in Las Vegas. Charlie and friends. Again, David Frizzell, Lefty Frizzell, bottom corner here. That's David Frizzell's brother. Here are some pictures of other locations that they've owned in the past. Yeah, a lot of people probably uh, don't, that doesn't know that they owned uh, other restaurants. This one is in Bakersfield, California. Uh, this one's down in Phoenix, Phoenix called Charlie's. They also own another one in Texarkana, Texas. All the restaurants are shut down now except for the two here in Las Vegas. This is a better picture of Charlie and Eddie Arnold. Here's Charlie with Jerry Lee Lewis. Roger Gormley and his wife. Uh, Roger's a son of uh, Virginia and Charlie. They had three children, all boys. Roger, Michael, and Scott. He goes by Scotty. Uh, Charlie went to heaven about three years ago, and I want to talk about his life uh, just for a moment. Many probably don't know that he raised money to build a church building in Indian Springs, Nevada. Uh, Charlie was born in Arkansas, and he moved to Las Vegas in 1961 for a job at the Nevada test site where he worked as a lineman. He always wanted to own his own biz business, so he decided to open a hush puppy. And he picked a location way on the edge of town, way out west, way out west, in 1975. And he finally talked a banker into loaning money, but there's a fear that it, it wouldn't work out because it was too far out of, out of town. And then later... Uh, with the success of the West Charleston, 
they opened the Nellis restaurant in 1986. And of course, they also had the Bakerfield, Phoenix, and Texarkana, Texas locations. If you ever visit the restaurant, um, Charlie greeted each customer warmly and made them feel right at home. You know, you kind of got the feeling you've been friends with him for 20 years, especially if you liked real country music. Uh, like I said earlier, my office was directly across the street from him. I ended up insuring him, and he was a friend of mine. Often we would talk about George Jones, who's my favorite country singer, and we would trade magazines back and forth. Um, I, I really liked him. Uh, he and Virginia were married for 63 years. This is Charlie with his parents. And of course, behind every good man is a great lady. Uh, this is Virginia and Charlie. Uh, I deal more with her today. And she shared a story with me one time that she took a good friend of hers out to Indian Springs to apply for a job at the post office. And uh, while her friend was inside taking the exam, she waited in the parking lot. Well, I guess a friend didn't do very well on the exam, and the postmaster came out to the parking lot and asked Virginia to come in and take the exam. She did, passed, and did well. She later became the postmaster of the post office at Indian Springs. Once the restaurant was up and going well, she quit her job and joined Charlie in the restaurant. Here's another early day picture of the Gormleys. This is taken right around 1975 when he opened the West Charleston restaurant. Now I'd like to take you out to the cemetery where Mr. Gormley is buried and pay our respects. Now we're pulling into the cemetery where Charlie's buried. So if you ever got a chance to visit with Charlie, you got the impression that you kind of knew each other for 20 years, especially if you're into real country music. So if you ever want to come out and pay your respects, he's really easy to find. Right here. It's a beautiful day in Las Vegas. Well, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. This one was fun to make. 
Charlie tr truly was, or he is, a special individual. I remember the first time I saw him, he said, Hey, you're just in time to unload the truck. <laughs> I'll never forget it. Good guy. Uh, my name is Dave Ledbetter. I have a uh, local independent insurance agency. Uh, we represent most companies, most big name companies that you, you'll recognize. If you're like everybody else in Las Vegas, you're sick of paying high car insurance premiums. Las Vegas has one of the highest rates in the country for car insurance. We also do home insurance, everything else. Uh, my phone number is 702-586-4300. If nothing else, we can talk about the Hush Puppy. Thanks for watching.